I'm Susan Stewart with Perfectly Placed and this is my closet makeover. But before I let you inside, let's take a look back and see where we started. Today I'm online designing my closet. I'm on the easytrack.com website where they have an easy to use design tool that allows me to plug in my measurements and design my own closet. If I need more help, I can just call and get help on the phone with one of their designers for free. First thing I did was took everything out of my closet and I stripped everything off the walls and um, pulled the old closet system off and I'm painting the closet so when my closet system from Easy Track comes in the mail this week I'm gonna have a clean slate to work with and make my closet look really good. So my closet arrived today it's quite a hefty package about 650 pounds I'm excited to get it put together and have everything back in my closet again my closet's been torn up for about a week, and I am ready to get everything organized and uh, have my dream closet. So I'm taking everything out of the packaging and carrying it upstairs so I can install it into my closet. And one of the things I've noticed that Easy Track has done really well is the packaging. It's been packaged really well. There are no dents or nicks and anything. And then I love that they've labeled everything very clearly so I know what's what. Suggestion number one for installing the closet. Enlist the help of your husband and a good friend. Okay, the guys are getting the railing up. We're doing it. The first thing we had to do after unpacking all the packages were to mark out um, where the studs were on the wall. Then we hung this rod, which everything's going to hang on this rod. They have these um, spots notched out already, and you just hang them on the rod and everything can be reconfigured um, the way you want it to be um, just by sliding them down. Alright, so the drawers are pretty easy to put together. They come in um, 4 inch, 8 inch, and 12 inch. This is a 4 inch drawer. You can see I've put a couple together over there already. First thing you do is put a little bit of glue in the dowel holes and you're going to want to have um, a wet rag handy because this can get a little bit messy. So you can just kind of wipe it there. And then they've got these notches here. So we're just going to stick a little bit of glue on each of these. Okay, now check this out. This is pretty fast and easy. stick that in. Now these don't go together real easily. You're going to have to do a little bit of pounding, which is where um, this rag is going to come in handy again. You want to put the rag over before you pound it so you don't ruin your wood. And then just pound it in. Now you've got the front part of the drawer put together. Now one of the really cool things about the way these drawers are made, so you know how sometimes when you're opening the handles, um, your handles after a while they get loose and they start um, coming undone. Well the way these are made is we're going to put the handle on um, this piece before we attach it to here so that on the inside the screws are never on the inside of the drawer and they won't loosen. So we do that step next. Now there's two different kinds of screws and I already made this mistake once so I'm letting you know so you don't do it. You've got a flat head screw and a rounded screw. The flat head screws go on this one. Now my handle's like this, and I'm going to attach the front part of the drawer to the drawer that's already made using the rounded screws. So you can see on the inside here of this handle, there are no screws showing in here, so your handle's not going to loosen up. Got two parts to the gliders. Okay, there's a part for the inside of the drawer, and those are marked, I think, uh, the drawer ones are DL, or DR, and the closet ones are C, so. Your um, round parts there, the wheels are in the back. And going to screw these in. Done. That's all there is to put in together a drawer. 
just going to attach the other um, the other parts inside the closet and that's it for the drawers easy peasy I'm going to talk a little bit about how I organized my drawers one thing that I love, a product is called Dream Drawer Dividers. And you can put them in any drawer and they can be changed as well. So here I use them to divide my drawer into three sections. Then I used some labels. And now you can see how I've divided up my pajama drawer. Another thing to be sure to include in your closet design is a place for dirty clothes. Here I've done a basket underneath for my dark clothes. And then I got a hamper right here, and that's where I keep my lights. So they're already separated, it makes it easier to do my laundry. When you're working on a budget, you need to make a decision to repurpose some things you already have. I had these shoe organizers and decided to stack them behind the door where they worked well. I also used baskets to house my socks near the shoes. Another thing I decided to repurpose was this hook on the back of the door. It was already here when I moved in and I thought it would be the perfect place to hang my scarves. So this is my main dressing area. You can see I've put in some drawers and then utilized shelving as well. One of the things you want to make sure you have is adjustable shelving. That allows you to put in as many shelves as you like and also customize the fit to fit your baskets. Now I made these baskets and put bows on them and labels and then they can hold things like hosiery, swimsuits, or whatever. The shelves are housing my sweaters, my jeans, and my sweatpants. So the last step of organizing your closet is accessorizing and it's the most fun. As you can see up top, I put some accessories to make it look like a boutique in here. I used some items I already had in the house and I also shopped at Tuesday morning to make a great look up top. So we've put all this work into the closet and I'm going to show you the final reveal. I love my closet! I feel like a million bucks. I feel like singing and dancing every time I'm in here. If you'd like more information on EasyTrack, go to easytrack.com. And if you'd like more organizing tips, go to perfectlyplaced.org.